what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and i appreciate you being here today i bring you news on the new curse of osiris raid activity and what in my opinion might just be this new raid activities weapon set but before we go any further guys do you want to win some epic loot in the form of exclusive emblem and sparrow codes gift cards and much more if so simply drop a like on this video leave a comment down below and join my discord server linked within the video description Okay, so over the past few days, loads of new info and footage for the new DLC for Destiny 2 has been revealed. We got a reveal trailer, a bit of PvP footage, and these alone did reveal quite a lot. But we also got a new interview as such with Eurogamer on this DLC, which kind of does answer a few big questions people have, while still keeping in fact and leaving us enough to still speculate over. One of the main things people want within a game and this DLC is a raid activity or any activity for that matter which allows us to truly grind the game a true end game grind activity that is what is missing in this game for me the leviathan raid is just too easy and the loot system in my opinion sucks so people including myself look to the future for what we want and the future is the curse of osiris expansion which comes out december 5th so will we be getting a new raid with this dlc well this is what bungie said when asked by your gamer about a new raid as previously announced, the DLC will add a new quest, new missions, new strikes, new adventures and a new raid activity. Eurogamer asks, does that mean a whole new raid? Bungie repeated, a new raid activity and they moved on. Now this I do know does not confirm a new raid is coming. This could mean actually quite a few different things. What I have seen many people speculate about is there will be changes added to the Leviathan raid to meet demands of basically what we want and what they mean as by a new raid activity. This I doubt will happen and I truly hope it doesn't happen. I mean the Leviathan raid is the Leviathan raid. Leave that how it is and bring us something new to do. Now this is what I think it will be. The Curse of Osiris will introduce Sagira a new female ghost which belonged to Osiris before she became separated from him. And we know the DLC surrounds Osiris, no doubt we will help in reintroducing Osiris with his ghost shell. So where is Osiris? It is speculated that he is trapped within the water glass Vex network. We actually also hear during a strike within Destiny 2 from my core array stating she senses Osiris within the water glass. Now within the reveal trailer when we see Osiris we see him in the water glass which I believe is the Templar room. But notice his ghost shell is still with him here, so no doubt this is a cinematic before he gets trapped. And all of this, including the data mined audio files from the game which speak of the Vault of Glass, leads me to believe it will be the Vault of Glass which returns as this new raid activity. Now whether it's a full blown new Vault of Glass raid experience, or it's just part of the story in which we save Osiris, I ain't sure. But I will bet it will be the Vault which returns. Maybe we experience it from a different angle, but whatever the case, I definitely would welcome it back. While many people would be upset at the fact an old raid would return, which I understand and in reality Bungie should be giving us new activities, that's a fair point. But the point is, the Vortal Glass is the best raid ever, there's no doubt about it. Every raid since then has been good for about a week or two and then it just gets boring real quick. The Vortal Glass being the first raid and the very best raid could offer us much much more. There are many many things we still don't know about the Vault and the Vex and there's much much story that could still come from it. And I've said this from day one, Destiny 2 in my opinion isn't a new game, it's seen by Bungie as more of a reboot in terms of telling us all the stories how they should have been within Destiny 1. And in doing this with the Water Glass I seriously respect and welcome that. And it's this very reason I do believe it will return. So with a new raid and a new activity we will get new weapons and loot obviously, that also beautiful loot what the grind is all about. So from the reveal trailer and the PvP gameplay we saw, there are a certain number of weapons which we all saw which in my opinion all have the same design theme and they all look to be Vex related and those are on screen now. We saw an auto rifle, a SMG, a scout, a pulse, a hand cannon and even what I think will be this new sword. All these weapons having the same theme of being a goldish colour with that white wire tubing on them. These all and more I believe will be this new raid activities loot rewards. There are armors we see within the trailer, some looking way more apparent to this theme than others, like this titan's armor right here. 
but to say for absolute certain which comes from this activity is guessing at this moment in time. But this themed weapon set in my opinion undoubtedly will come from whatever raid activity Bungie are keeping hush on. I suppose we will find out soon. Now before we come to the end of the video, another thing that I will mention is the new level and power level which will come into place with the first DLC expansion. Players will be able to level up to a 25 and boost their power level from a current max of 300 up to 330 with legendary mods no doubt adding them 5 extra levels to it. So a new power level of 335. So an increase in level for us to grind towards, I do welcome that as we all would. Hopefully though it's not as easy as it is now to reach that top level. Let's hope there are only a certain few places in the game we have to grind to get this achievable 335 power level. And on that note guys, I am out. If you enjoyed the video leaving a like really does help me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss a video I upload hit that bell button. Next is that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I do upload. But thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.